Hey guys, what's up? It's Simon from Vintro here. So it is a big warm welcome to our channel. Today, this video is not about what I would consider a real cool car. It's nothing retro, it's nothing classic, it's nothing sports or supercar, but more about my everyday ride. Now what is that car? Well, it, it is an Audi A4 Evant 1.9 turbo diesel. And the reason I want to throw this media out is because I'm actually feeling a little bit guilty about this car. I've had it now, as I said, brand new in 2016. When I purchased the car, I made sure that we had the 19 inch RS alloys put on it because I wanted to have that Sorara style look about the car and I think it does lend its lines to that. But more importantly, I want to get the car back to how it really should be. I want to give it a little bit of styling. I want to give it a little bit of a Vintro feel about the car. Now, over two years ago, I damaged this car. I drove it into a stack of bricks here at the house and I've never had it repaired. So this is one of the things that we'll be doing in this video. I want to research the parts, I want to fit the parts and show you exactly what I've got to do to bring this car back up to standard. But as I said, I want to give it a little bit of a funky feel, a bit of a Vintro branding look. So let's see what we can find out about this Audi A4. Okay guys, so this is the car in question. As I said, it is a 2016 model A4 Evance. It, it does dress the 19 inch RS alloys, which I really think brings out the best style in the car. It does have the, uh, the rear spoiler on the, on the tailgate here. And if you look at it, I think for an everyday ride, it's, it's pretty cool. It's not the best, but it's a pretty, pretty cool car. But as I said, the car does not get a lot of love at all. It hasn't been cleaned washed or polished for over it's never been polished actually it's never been polished in its life uh, it does have a wash every six months if it's lucky so what we want to do today is first and foremost show you the condition of the paintwork and of course the damage that i caused over two years ago so i don't know if the uh, video can pick this up but this actually feels like sandpaper the car is really um the, the paintwork is really rough not the paintwork itself but what's sitting on top of the paintwork around here we have a lot of trees and um, the tree sap just sits and just clings onto the car itself um, the car is not garished at night so therefore it picks up a lot of um, as I say sap and dust from the trees and also as an everyday ride which never get washed you can imagine that that paintwork needs some serious detailing but as well as that, as I said, I damaged the car and I don't know if you'll be able to pick this up but the grill here, if you start here, it actually opens up a little bit and that is where I actually drove the front of this car into a stack of bricks which doesn't really help. Um, if you look at the, the Audi badge here, I don't know if you can see that on the video but that's actually, actually broken. Um, and of course the, the lower the lower grill here is also broken. So these are the things now, it's time to have this car repaired, get a little bit of love back into it. I need to go and research the parts on my trusted eBay site and let's go and see what we can find. Okay guys, we're just going to head on into the Vintro office here, um, where this is where we can research a little bit of the parts that we require to repair the front of the Audi. So let's, uh, let's just grab this chair here. We, uh, let's let me flip the camera around. Okay, so this is, this is eBay. I've already loaded it up for you guys. Um, and let's just sort of start at the top. The grills that we have are various for formats. Um, what I really, would like to do is to see if I could put possibly one of these honeycomb style grills on. I think I think they look fantastic. Um, I don't I don't know if you can see the the image of this this Audi here, but um, it is. I think I think it looks good. I am very aware that I I don't want to make the car tacky. Um, so 
I would really like your views and comments below if you think this could make the car tacky. I don't think it will. Um, it is it is a stylish car, so I don't want to take the style out of the car, but I do want to make it a little bit more quirky to bring it on a little bit more of a sort of Vitro brand, if you like. So what do we have? So starting at the top, um, it is £299. Uh, that's that's for the uh, that's quite heavy heavy honeycomb that is and it comes with obviously the badge and the uh, the number plate plinth there that, that looks pretty cool I've got to say but having already looked at some of the other grills my research shows that 299 pounds is quite expensive um, it's not in comparison to the original grills which I know are four or five possibly 600 pounds but I think from a replacement grill which is an aftermarket style grill I think that's quite expensive if you if you scroll through what I like about this particular grill it, it is great styling I think the black would really complement my my gray color um, it's, got, it's a fantastic price too you know it is 139.99 pounds here in the UK so this could be a good option however there's something on this one I don't particularly like it's got the RS4 badge um, I don't I'm very conscious I don't want to kid myself and plaster my car with RS4 badges it's not something that I want to do so this grill could be an option only if I can remove the RS4 badge so that is not a bad option 139.99 that that could be a go so let's just uh, go back and scroll through um, this grill here uh, it's 200 pounds virtually 199 pounds 90 let's just click on that this could be an option but one thing I'm mindful of I don't know what you guys would think it's missing the the Audi badge the logo in the front um, I probably would like that to be on the car but again could be could be an option um, again leave your comments of what what you think below um, how much is that one yeah 200 pounds so that's that's not too bad this this is the sort of if you see these images here I, I, I gotta say I, I, I do I do like this this Audi blank look at the front um, looks looks quite aggressive but again I don't want to take away the styling of, of the car um, I'd, re I'd really like to know your comments guys on this because um, I don't want to make a mistake by ordering a grill like this thinking it looks okay and it looks too aggressive um, and it doesn't suit the car but again the price on this for the cost of literally £109.99 well that's, that's not bad so it's got some other images here what you get with the car so oh actually it does say it, it, if you look at this image here it's got the, the badge so that that could be an option I'll tell you what we're going to do let's let's uh, let's watch this item so we've added that to our watch list because that to me seems fantastic value for money look at that that is literally uh, less than 110 pounds so that that could be an option let's go back and see see what other grills there are See, there's, there's an original grill there that's second hand and that original grill is £349. So as you can imagine, um, the car being 2016 now, I, and I want to give it a little bit of a quirky look, that, that's not an option anymore. I'm not, I'm not spending that type of money, um, particularly as you know that, that grill looks so much better for 300 pounds so okay so let me do uh continue with my research let me come back and i will show you what grill i purchased i've got the audi set up behind me um we're going to video the whole strip down process i will put this on time lapse uh in the video so let's let's get to work
Right guys, just to give you a little bit of an update on the Audi, um, as you will see from behind me, I've now actually put the car in the garage because what um, I've actually found is you cannot take the front grille out without taking the whole complete bumper off and what that basically means is you've got to get the car on axle stand, jack the car up, get it on axle stand and go from there. Two hours later. So we had a little bit of a setback because I couldn't take the front bumper off um, and the grill without removing the front bumper. So what I've done, I've got the, uh, the car all jacked up now on axle stand. Uh, I just want to show you uh, something here that um, I was taught many, many years ago from uh, the guy who, uh, who uh, had me as an apprentice. He always taught me safety first. So what I've got here. I don't know if you can see here, we've still, we've still got the, um, the, the, the jack in place. Uh, we've got the axle stands now under the car. And we also have just the lip of the wheel just running along the bottom of the sill there. So should the jack fail, the axle stand has got the weight. Um, and also, if anything should happen there, then of course we've got the, the, the car uh, sill, which is against the wheel itself. Should anything happen, it could possibly damage the wheel, but as I say, safety first. So I'm gonna get um, involved now in taking all this uh, splash guard off, and um, I'll give you an update soon. Much, much, much later. Okay guys, so a um, little, uh, little bit tricky, I've gotta say. Um, as you can see now, the, the front of the, uh, the Audi is stripped down. We've got the, um, the bumper off here. Um, so the next thing I've got to do um, is really just just clean up the place because obviously we're taking the the engine guard off and the bumper all, all the all the rubbish has come out from behind the car and as I've said before this car has never got a lot of love so it's got a lot of sort of rubbish and mess where I've never even cleaned under the, um, the splash guards etc so um, I'll give you an update shortly on what I'm doing and um, hopefully the parts will arrive soon hey guys just a final update today uh, as you know I did say we uh, we had the bump of the car which we do so we have now uh, stripped the, the grill out of the bumper. So all is going to plan. Uh, so all we need to do now is make sure we get the right parts of the plumb. Apparently there is uh, the difference on the S line. This model is an S line. So we've got to get, make sure we get the right grill. I have a feeling being car being an S line that's going to be more expensive but we'll we'll see how it goes so okay so that's the end of today's project we'll wait till the parts come and then we'll do the fit up cheers guys I'm finally back on the Audi I've had to take a break from the first initial film because quite simply um, I was waiting for parts so lucky enough they have arrived after about 10 days so we're back on the rebuild today, but I just want to give you a quick update of what I've done in the meantime. So with the new grill that I'm going to be fitting, which is the RS style grill, you'll see on the front of the car now that I've had to paint the front impact bumper there, which was originally aluminium color. Well, it is aluminium in, in material, and I've had to paint that black because the new style grill, which is in this box here, I'll get it out. Just bear with me. The new grill, which is this one here, so we'll just put this over here. There you go. So that's this new style grill that we're going to be having on the car. It's an RS style grill, as I said, I wanted to make the car a little bit more funkier if you like looking at the front uh, lucky enough I managed to locate the original Audi lower grille you can't get um, non-OE replacement so I had to go for the original Audi which is great because this one here the original it was cracked in the impact when I hit the bricks so I've got the new Audi grille we're going to be fitting this all up onto the bumper today and hopefully getting the Audi back to where we should be.
sun because it's literally absolutely cooking me out there so um, I bought it forward so I'm, I'm in the shade here I've got the grill in place and the first thing I've noticed which is not a really big issue but again being this a, a pattern part if you like um, it's got seven locating screws which is here now on the original grill on the Aldi grill there is not um, sorry there was there's nine in there in the pattern part and there's seven on the original Aldi grill yeah that's okay so as you can see you got one two three four five six seven but on the replacement grill on this RS style grill you've got another two located there I flipped over the original Aldi grill and it's basically just a blank in there so I ain't got an issue with that but um, when you're trying to count the screws and you think well actually why do I need nine and I've only got seven from the old grill that can answer that question so yeah okay so that's that's good I'm just gonna nip them up and we'll flip it around and make sure that's all in place one thing I've noticed actually is uh, these two sensor Holes here, but within the kit, you actually you get these blank and blank and bungs, if you like. I don't know if it's the right word for them, but uh, they um, they just fit in there, so those those holes don't show. So let's just try and fit those. Yeah, that looks good. The other side. Yeah, again, I'm really pleased with that. That looks good. So I'm just gonna just give this a bit of a clean, just to take that old dirt out. As I told you before, the car's never seen a, a lot of love. Just for peace of mind, I, before I slip the, the bumper on, I just wanna make sure that, you know, things are a little bit clean under here. It's not too bad, actually. But as I say, the next video on the car will be the full home detailing that I'm going to do. Which again, I'll give you a bit of a close-up of that of the car's condition, the paintwork, etc. And it really isn't that great because it's never been polished, sits in the sun, the tree sap sit on it all day. So we're gonna give it a little bit of love after this video to give it a full home detailing. But just to give this a bit of a clean behind the scenes is, is good because as I say, it's just a little bit of peace of mind that I know when once the, the bumper is fitted, then I know it's all ready to go. Part. So I've got to fit this underbelly sort of splash guard that goes under the front here that I think the, the bumper joins up to. So uh, I've just been under the car and I just want to show you something for a, a little tip if anyone else does a, a front wheel change. Um, I don't know if you can see under here. There's, um, I'll put this, this screw in here because basically when you're just working with one person it's a little bit difficult to actually put that up on your own so what I've done I've located 
this screw here. I don't hope hopefully you can you can see it. Um, and then basically we're going to locate this um, this this part here onto that locating screw and then that way it will hold up the, the splash guard and give you an opportunity to put another screw in to hold it in place. So let's let's give that a whirl. I'm gonna keep the, the camera running and see if we can just I don't know if we can prop something up under there. Let me just put a I'll just put that there. See you might be able to see it. Let's let's give it a go. So I'm gonna locate that screw on here. Yep. So that, that's what I mean, you see. So that, that now is located there. And that gives you then an opportunity to pick up another screw and screw that in place, hopefully, which it has. So there you go, there's, there's one there. And then, Yeah. So there you go, that's, that's held that in place now by putting that screw in the middle. It's allowed me to actually hold that in place and now what I can do, I can now locate the rest of the, the screws in here and I'll give them a final nip once the, the bumper is actually located. There's something I was taught when I was a young lad was whenever you put a screw or a bolt back in its recess, always just give it a little bit of lubricant because the guy who taught me my trade always said, you make it easier for the, the next man, whoever takes it off, and that just could be you. So here we go, I'm just gonna spray just just a little bit round the round the threads of these locating screws as that just helps the next person if they ever take this off because they could go rusty and as I say you never know it could be you so I'm just gonna nip them up just slightly not all the way because obviously we've still got some and already you can feel how how nice they turn now with a little bit of a little bit of WD for you. So that's cool. Right, so that's, that's in place now. And it's time to sort of see if we can marry the, the front bumper up. So what I've done here is the bumper's pretty much ready to go on now. So just to make it easy on myself, because I am working single handedly here. If you look at the bumper, it's got all these uh, locating points here and so on. Here's one, two, three, four. And again, this side, just, just these locating screws. And then we're going to obviously tie it to the splash guard underneath. Now, just to make it easier, what I've done, I've got my three screws here, my main bumper screws. So that's, there's four there, there's four on the edge. And then just at the bottom of the car here, one, two, three, four. And then my three screws here, and then my main bumper screw there. So they're located into these places here and here. And hopefully if you can see that just, just here. So basically what I've got, when I offer the, the bumper up, um, we'll have all the screws ready and in the right place. And I've done the same again with the top, which is here, here, here and here. So there's four screws ready. 
And as I said earlier, I just, just for the next person who ever takes these bumpers off, we just give them a little bit of a squirt. So if in the future they do come off again, then it just makes it easy for the next person. That could be you. Right, let's, uh, let's get the bumper now fitted in place. So fingers crossed, here we go. It's built up, so the first thing I would do is we'll just get these locating pins here just, just in place but not fully clipped in. And then we can get inside there. Well, that doesn't look too bad at all now is to get underneath and um, put all the screws in and the splash guards and so on and then we'll be we'll be well on the way um, just see where to start first we, we also got the, the cover to go on here that's got to go in so we'll get that all cleaned up and make sure that that goes in nicely yeah so there's the four locating screws there we'll get them in place at the beginning of video i did mention about this bracket to see if it actually was damaged it wasn't it is actually meant to have um, a little bend kink in there to obviously hold that grunt in place so yeah let's let's crack on and um get it all bolted in okay so we're nearly there uh, i've just got to clean up the number plate now, the back of the plate, so we can restick that in that. Put it on there. Doing it, 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 doing All in place now, and uh, so we'll have a, a quick look. I've changed the the lines. The only things uh, I've done done all the bolts at the top. That, that's all good. Of course, we've still got to fit the uh, the cover in there. We'll do that in a moment. But the only things remaining now, I've fitted all the um, the splash guards, so all those are in place. I've just got to nip them up. So we've just got some bolts here. Um, up here got to tighten these screws here so we'll we'll do that now get them all in place so the splash guard is, is done both sides then we'll have a final check over torque up and uh, we'll uh, draw it outside to see what it looks like Okay guys, so that is the end of the video on the grill change on the Audi A4 event. We hope you enjoy the video. Uh, I've certainly enjoyed myself making it for you. Uh, there's plenty more content like that to come, uh, particularly as we said on the, uh, the last video we've done on the 
Ferrari Tessarossa engine cover change. We said we're doing talking car tails. That series will be coming very shortly. So please look out for that. Again, please do like and subscribe because this is new to us. This is a new journey and that, that would really help. Um, and just finally, hopefully when we're lifted out of uh, this, this horrible situation with COVID-19, we'll see you in your cars and hopefully on a Vintro road trip in the future. In the meantime, please do stay safe and peace and love as always.